so apparently we slept through the rest of the winter because when I went out last night it was plus five and it's plus five now. All the snow is melting away. It's quite balmy out. We're gonna go get bagels. And then I guess we're gonna go buy tulip buds. Oh no, you do that in the fall. Perennials? I think that's what they're called. We're gonna go buy perennials. Spring is in the air. Da, 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 da. No, seriously, I think it's supposed to snow like feet on Wednesday, but at this point it's hard to believe. Morning. That's really attractive. Toby just pulled out the oldest parent trick in the book. And don't make that face or your face will freeze like that. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Are those tasty bagels? Ah, disgusting. Disgusting? Who has noisy baby? What did you take? Toby and Leanne. Can you sit down, please? Ah, where did Toby sit? Toby sat here and Leanne sat over there. I love that Rebecca's jamming along to Ghostbusters. What's up there? Do you hear the music? Do you like the music? I like the music too. Yeah. I gotta say, I think it's more fun with you guys shopping when you're strapped in the carts. Because your sister wants something more than to move about. That's annoying. Tasty? Is it tasty? You're always at number two? Yeah. How do you know this is number two? Aha. Uh -huh. Can you see the numbers there? Oh, I see. I see. So that's number one. Number two is there. You're very smart. How are we back at the doctor's office? What's that? Ear infection. I hope it's not an ear infection. No more antibiotics. We need to go to the osteopath again. Because mommy's been saying how awesome the osteopath was. So it jinxed us. I'm here for me too. Is that a terrible cough? Okay. We didn't get the flu shot, and I'm wondering if we should have. Well, they don't do flu shots here. They do do flu shots here. I'm gonna get you a shot. No. They also do it's one where you could just put it up your nose, so there's no shot. You just sniff. And yeah, touch. that's right. <laughs> well, we're not doing a mining flu shot. Yeah, you have a nosebleed. And that's where the mine is. How much fun did you have grocery shopping? Did you get a cookie? You got a cookie and some tangerines. You're so lucky. Now, Mommy and Abby are finished. So we're going to go pick them up. Grocery shopping was a success. Everything I wanted was available. It's a good day. I forgot bread, though. I had to go back and buy bread because really, you know, Two bushels of kale, this I can remember. But the fact that I need bread, nah, that I forgot. What happened? Where's daddy? This in the car again. Yeah? How come? He's going to go get my antibiotics. We have so much antibiotics. Apparently no one told Mother Nature this was supposed to be snow. Not rain, because it's January, not June. It's pouring rain. This would have been a huge dumping of snow. As I'm sure you heard, I'm gonna go get the antibiotics for double ear infection again. Or apparently, ear, ear infection and a half. This whole language thing that most of the world doesn't understand is seemingly gaming, gaining some steam again, and it's... I simply don't understand it. I just don't know that it could ever make sense. I think it's fundamentally flawed. And so when something, an argument is fundamentally flawed, it's, it's difficult to ever understand it because it's not about understanding it, it's purely about passion and emotion, and we all know that doesn't work out well. Yeah, never a resolution when passions are involved. Because, how could there be? Because if it's passion, at the end of the day, one person will be upset, and the other person will be happy, or neither will be happy. 
We are going to a party. Nobody is very happy yet. We're on our way, right? Um, Rebecca's happy. Abby's upset because I pulled her hair somehow with the seatbelt. I have no idea how I did it, but she's crying. And someone stole her cat or something. Abby cries. Four year old emotional wreck. I just started doing something really cool in the kitchen and it occurred to me, silly you, why aren't you vlogging this? So, in the food processor, I put 500 grams of peanuts and about a tablespoon of peanut oil. Can you guess what I'm making? It kind of just started to change textures. It went from being crushed nuts to really, really kind of coarse peanut butter. I'm told it goes through about five stages before it's what we recognize as peanut butter. It's totally doing something new. It's the same-ish texture, but the oils are being... The oils are being released now. If you look down there, right here, it kind of looks like real peanut butter. I realized the stage before this wasn't sand, it looked like couscous. But that, people, looks and smells like peanut butter. We're almost there. I promise you, there was no trick photography involved, merely stopping the camera. Look at that, peanut butter. It honestly tastes better than the natural stuff I have. I have the. Uh, the blue label one here, just peanuts, smooth peanut butter, which I'm actually going to scrape the leftovers out of and back into here and mix everything up together, but it's amazing. Judging by the color difference, I guess they roast their nuts longer? I don't know. But that's the leftovers. There's actually two in here already. There's there's a natural from a, a bulk barn type thing and whatever's left over of the PC blue label. Now we will combine, combine? Now we will... Combine all together. So yeah, here's the after. Before. After. Before. After. There are a number of joys in living in an old house. And one of them is walls that are about three degrees off of square. Makes for tricky installation of shelves. Took me a few minutes to get that out properly. Where are you installing a crooked shelf? Why in the hall closet? I put pretty stuff over here. You know, like Lego and such. It's pretty. I think every man cave deserves. Deserves? Requires. A ton of Lego. What did you do? Who's on the phone? Did you have fun? You know what they did to Sammy? What? They put a table and uh, I'll tell you after. Oh, okay. You want to say bye bye, Daddy? Bye bye. Rebecca, bye, say daddy. bye bye, Daddy. <laughs> you say bye bye, Dada. Bye bye. Are you excited? Are you excited to get out of the car? Everybody's home. The one, two, three, four. Everybody had their antibiotics. And now we're all fighting. Well, I suppose not all. Tova and I aren't farting, fighting. We might be farting, but we're not fighting for this bracelet. Share time. Rebecca? Where's the ball, Rebecca? Okay, fine, then I'll play with the ball. Okay. You can't play with this thing. And then we switch and switch. You like basketball? I'm not playing that. Did Harvey teach you how to play basketball? No, oh honey. Isn't it Cosmo? What? No. What? We just change it every day. You see Rebecca? Rebecca, push backwards. Look, Daddy. Daddy. Compete for attention much? Look. It's raining again. 10 days ago? No, 20 days ago? 
we were getting feet of snow. Now it's rain. So very bizarre. So I've decided to go get some takeout. Which is a bad idea for so many reasons. Too many, in fact, to list. Sometimes you do what you do. When I got out and I don't have a cell phone with me, and was like, do you want to take mine? And I was like, because mine's dead. And I was like, no, I gotta live life on the edge. And how kind of strange is that, eh? Now the 21st century and leaving the house without a means of communication is living life on the edge. Many people have multiple means of communications. I'll have my tablet, my phone. A lot of people have multiple phones. It's very bizarre, this world we live in. Is it ultimately better, I ask you? I don't know. Plans for takeout have been aborted. Why? Because my will is stronger than my desire. I think that's the proper way to say it. Any enjoyment that I perhaps would have taken out of this was already being overshadowed by the regret. And I think if you have regret before you do the thing, that's when your mind says, hey, wait, I could avoid this. Let's avoid it. Are you going to go to bed soon, love? Yeah. It's late. That's vile. I know. You know what was worse? Mm. Stepping in your daughter's bath. That was pretty disgusting. It was a good uh, projectile vomit. Poor thing, at least she didn't do it in her bed. That could have been a lot worse. A lot but worse. she was coughing a lot. I think she was just... Yeah, I meant to... Uh, like, if it's a one hit... I don't think it's gastro. I don't think you can puke once with gastro, can you? I think you could. Really? Night night. Good night, everybody. Wave! You never wave anymore. This is our signature. My this wave? Spot. It's true, we used to talk a lot more. We don't talk so much anymore. Not to each other. You're not even talking now. You're mostly clicking. Maybe that's why like things have been going so well. With us? <coughs> You think this is good? Tomorrow, um, uh, tomorrow I'm waiting for my x-ray. That's right, you're going to find out if you have a heart. Oh, no, that's another time. No, another time. you find out if you have a lung. I don't think anyone needs a lung. Our house is so sick, it's unbelievable. Like, this is terrible. How could, like, everyone just be so sick? When will this stop? July. Why July? It's the summer. Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I wanna do it again and again.